What up, guys? On today's Slice of Insight, uh, it'll just be coming from me, and I'm going to be talking about the probably one of the first pieces of advice that I ever received uh, when I started DJing and getting into the music industry. And I received this from one of my best friends and mentors uh, who went by DJ Law. He was a vinyl DJ back in the 90s in Seattle, and something that he always emphasized in me and why I started promoting and DJing around the same time is that the importance of reliance on yourself and remaining independent is really critical for sort of ensuring your success into the future. And so what I mean by that is that, you know, if I really wanted to play a show or, or put together, you know, sort of a creative space, I felt like it was my responsibility uh, to be able to do that. And, you know, I wasn't too reliant on any one either venue or any one promoter group or anyone else really in order to bring a vision you know, that I had to life. And I think that that's really important because, you know, clubs are always closing for one reason or another, whether that be funding or something else. Promoter groups are oftentimes fracturing or restructuring. You know, there's always changes that are going to happen in the industry because the turnover rate is so high for, you know, either management or the venue itself or just other things that happen. And so I always felt that at any point, if I really wanted to get out there and play or I really wanted to put together an event, you know, it was really on me to do it myself. And not only that, but I think a lot of my success or ability to network with other groups was also the fact that I was very independent. So when I booked a show, I was able to bring in, you know, organizers from other groups or um, collaborate with them to throw a joint event and sort of mix two groups together, you know, two, two fan bases. So I really think that there's nothing wrong, and actually I highly encourage, and this is not to be confused with not working together with other people, because I really think that when you have a shared vision, you can share resources, and you know everything's a lot easier, and, and the top end of what you can do is you know much greater than if you're working alone. However, I think it's really important that you know you understand that waiting for someone to give you an opportunity you know, is really putting the power and your future and your success into someone else's hands. And so that's why I've always been able to um, stay independent despite being able to work with all these different crews that I really love working with and, you know, throwing ideas around with them. Um, but at the same time, when it, when it really comes down to it, um, I really feel that I am in a position and I have the mindset in order to create the realities and create the success and create the opportunities for myself and then also for other people because I feel that empowerment that I was instilled with, you know, 10 years ago when I first started. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, we'll be back with you next week. All right. Have a great day.